In today's video, I'm going to answer one of the most highly asked questions that we get in week in, week out, and that's all about Mighty Hoops. A quick little side note for those who are interested in purchasing Mighty Hoops, I do have a promo code. All you have to do is call up Mighty Hoops via telephone and mention promo code Romero Threads. So the good thing about ordering over the phone is any last minute questions or any last minute confirmations can easily be done over the phone. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's start with question number one, all about Mighty Hoops, okay? And these are not in any particular order. These are just kind of like how I remember them, all right? And let's start with question number one, and that is what is the biggest size hoop that I can use with my machine? So that answer, it all depends what's the, what's the largest size of your sewing field. So I have a Ricoma, so the biggest size I can go with. Okay, 10 by 19 or 13 by 16 hoop. Okay, uh, that all that all depends on your sewing field. So if you go to your manufacturer website or your manual, it usually tells you what is your sewing field. And like I said before, if you want confirmation on exactly what's the sizes, what's the biggest size you can go with with your hoop. All right, it's easy. It's always easy to confirm with Mighty Hoop. And also for the Ricoma EM1010. Okay, we get a lot of questions for this one too. What is the biggest size hoop I can go with? Okay, with that sewing field of the EM1010, you should be able to get the 8 by 13 size hoop as your biggest hoop size. And many times when I receive this question, right, on specific brands, what is the biggest size? I would simply direct them to Mighty Hoops, okay? And they have always the latest and greatest information right there. And they can confirm with you exactly what's the biggest size hoop, right? But for those who have a Ricoma MT1501, there's a lot of similar type of sewing field. You should be able to get a 13 by 16 or a 10 by 19, all right? Two of my favorite hoops that I like, all right? Big size, especially for patches or jacket bags. Okay, let's go with question number two, all about Mighty Hoops. And that is, do I need the hooping station in order to use the Mighty Hoops? And the answer is no, you don't. So you should be able to just uh, hoop it, right? Uh, now it requires a little bit more practice without the hooping station and you got to make sure that your backing doesn't kind of shift. Mighty Hoops does make some backing holders in order to hold the backing so it won't shift. Uh, so there's other methods to hoop without using the hooping station. But of course, I highly recommend the, the station just because there's less thinking involved, right? Less human error and everything is consistent now sometimes i get people right 20 plus years in the industry that they always message me and they tell me that they for 20 years they've never used a hooping station okay to me right that's that's all good now this is what i say right sometimes sometimes you might have situations where somebody comes in and helps you right let's say you have a family member or a friend that comes in and needs to help you on a big order the the stations all right the stations if you have the station you could easily teach anybody how to hoop something instantly okay so i've had times where um we've had different people come in and hoop garments okay and there's less teaching and less kind of human error with the hoop stations so yes you can have it there are the hooping backings to help you out but hooping station of course right always helps you out question number three all about mighty hoops this is a very this is one of the most common ones that we get okay which hoop should i buy first sometimes it might be obvious right to buy the 5.5 right that's the one that everybody buys okay but to really really answer that question 100 percent sure you got to answer your own question is what is my most popular design to go with i always say the most profitable size right left chest logo is always the most popular size to go with that's why the 5.5 is so popular right because pretty much every logo right when, when we deal with a left chest logo should be below a four inches okay should be there are exceptions where you do go bigger on logos but for the most part i would say 99 percent of all left chest logos that i've done okay they're usually less than four inches okay perfect perfect size for the 5.5 but some people do a uh, kid shirt okay if you do kid shirt birthday shirts or um, jacket bags right if you specialize in jacket bags then depending on what size you specialize in that's kind of like the size that you should buy first right that's that's where you you want to set your focus in now whatever size design you have you want to match 
the closest hoop that fits that design. For example, if you have a three inch logo, a very standard three inch logo, you don't want to use a big giant hoop for that little small logo. And there's a lot of reasons, okay? Main reason is with all that space that you have around, you can introduce loss of registration. Stuff starts shifting. You always want to work with the hoop that closely matches your design. I would say 90% of the time, 5.5, right? Always the go-to, especially the station. But if you do specialize in, in specific type of designs, okay, then you want to go with that. And then once you have, once you have your go-to hoop, right? Once you have that, for example, the 5.5, now you want to start expanding, right? To, to the other side of the spectrum. So if you have a very smaller type hoop, okay, now you might wanna go with the biggest one or you might wanna go with the middle size one, right? I always say that the three must have hoops, right? The 5.5, the eight by 13, cause that's kinda like the middle spectrum and then that big one, all right? That, that 10 by 19, right? Big jacket bags. And then you slowly start filling your way in, right? You start filling in the gaps, any gaps that you have, but if you fill up that whole spectrum, you're good to go. All right, let's go with another big, big question all about Mighty Hoops, and that is, why doesn't my parameters on my machine match the Mighty Hoops, right? So, of course, the Mighty Hoops, they're going to be a different size than your traditional hoops. So, it's going to be programmed different in your machine, all right? Some people, they... They actually change the parameters on their machine to fit the Mighty Hoops. I've never had to do that. What I do is I just choose the closest hoop that matches my Mighty Hoop. And then always triple check and trace your designs. Always trace your designs. Your design should be smaller than the hoop. If that makes sense, right? Your design is just kind of, it's common sense. But trust me, it happens to the best of us where we, we're going to put a design that's bigger than the actual hoop size. So by you tracing, you double check yourself, okay? Um, I have that very important video where I talk about tracing, okay? And the, way, and the reason why I trace three times. And before I push start on my designs, it's just a ritual that I have where I'm going to trace three times. Now, I've also seen people change their parameters, okay, to fit the Mighty Hoops. It is possible. If you do want to do that, you can either talk to your manufacturer or you could go through the manual, okay? It is possible if you want to go that route, okay? But for the most part, I've never had to do that. I just choose whatever is the closest size to my Mighty Hoop. Let's go with question number five, all about Mighty Hoops, and that is, can I use the Mighty Hoop station for my regular hoops? Your, your machine, it comes with regular hoops, right? You should be able to use those regular hoops. With the Mighty Hoop Station, you can still use your regular hoops. Okay, let's go with question number six, all about Mighty Hoops. And that is, is the Mighty Hoops compatible with my one needle embroidery machine? The Mighty Hoops, they're not compatible with the flatbed type embroiders, okay? The one needles. Uh, but they are, right? They are, uh, if they are tubular, if they have a tubular system. For example, the Brother Persona and the baby alliance okay so those type of uh, one needles they are compatible okay mighty hoops they do have accessories right for those other types of uh embroidery machines so sometimes i get questions about just you know all different types of embroidery machines all right i don't really have the info right on all the embroidery machines but for the most part right the best thing to do is call up mighty hoops for the latest and greatest information but for the most part right tubular system type embroider machines all right you should be good to go but of course you always want to confirm you always want to talk to them and just to make sure okay i have a question for everybody on youtube let me know what is your favorite hoop size and what is the type of garment that you embroider on most all right for us here at the shop our favorite hoop i would have to say it's the 5.5 and our most popular garment that we do is polo shirts all right, if you have any questions, there's always going to be more questions all about Mighty Hoops. So any of the questions that you have down below, we'll definitely make a part two about this, all right? And then that way we could get into more details about Mighty Hoops and everything about Mighty Hoops, all right? So thank you very much for stopping by. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.